Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian Dean from Quick Sprout. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to determine the commercial intent of keywords, which is actually really important because I can tell you from experience that there's nothing worse than ranking for a keyword only to find that the traffic doesn't convert. So basically online, you have two types of keywords. You have informational keywords. So if you're in the hosting niche, something like what is web hosting? That's an informational keyword, right? That's someone who's kind of like, I think I want web hosting, but I need to know what it is and maybe looking up some factors to consider as well. On the other hand, something like best web hosting. Now that person has already decided that they're ready to buy hosting and they just want to know who to buy it from. So if you're the person that can get in front of them before they make their purchase, you can get your affiliate commission if you're an affiliate or if you own a hosting company, you can get a new customer. Some other common commercial intent keywords are reviews. So when someone types in reviews, they're already ready to buy. They're just looking at the uh, different providers. Discount, okay, so that's someone who also is determined that they're ready to buy and they're just looking at a discount and coupon. Okay, so these are some common buyer intent keywords. Now, if you're, you have a brand that has a presence online, you definitely wanna search for your brand in Google and look at Google Suggest to see if there are any keywords with commercial intent that people are searching for around your brand. So let's put in, Crazy Egg is an example. So as you can see, Crazy Egg blog is more of a general, they're just looking for the blog on Crazy Egg versus something like review. Now that person is interested. They're like, okay, I've heard of Crazy Egg, I might be interested, I just wanna you know, read one more review before I make the purchase. And pricing, so that's someone else who's already later in the buying cycle, okay? The only problem with this is that Google Suggest only typically gives you three to five keywords. But if you wanna find more, copy your keyword, right, your brand name, and head over to the Pro Media Corp Suggester. So just Google Pro Media Suggester, and this is the first result, and put your brand name into this tool, and fill out the CAPTCHA and click on the Suggest button. And what this tool does is it takes these three and turns them into several, sometimes up to 50 or 100 keywords. And this is important because a lot of times, when you scroll down here, you can see keywords with commercial intent that you w might not have found, okay? And so it's just a matter of testing it. So put your brand in here and see if people are searching for things like discount and coupon, and then those are landing pages you could put on your site and rank above affiliates who are obviously taking a cut of the revenue. Now, once you have your keywords you know, in place or you have a couple of keyword ideas, it's time to head to the Google Keyword Planner. So sign into your AdWords account and um, look for the Google Keyword Planner under Tools and Analysis, which is right here. Once you're here, click on Search for Keyword and Add Group Ideas, and we'll put in um, something related to hosting. So WordPress hosting. And then you can filter all you want depending on what, where your target market is. So if you're not in the States, if you're in the UK or Canada, you definitely wanna change this, okay? Because commercial intent can be very different between countries. Then click Get Ideas. Now by default, Google shows you ad group ideas, and this is not what you want. You wanna click on the, the Keyword Ideas tab. And when you do that, you'll see a number of keywords related to the keyword that you put in, okay? And generally, when you put in a keyword, it'll have you know, varying commercial intent. So how do you determine that commercial intent? Well, the first area you wanna look at is competition, and you want this actually to be high. So a common misconception is that this actually represents the organic competition in Google. It actually doesn't, it only represents AdWords competition. So you do want this to be high because the more people that are bidding on that keyword, the more commercial intent there generally is, okay? So this represents how many people are actually going after those keywords um, in Google AdWords. Now, average cost per click is a complementary metric, and that can tell you how much people are bidding. So sometimes you'll find that the competition will be very high, but the cost per click will be very low. So this is more representative of how valuable that particular searcher is. And, and an average cost per click of $26 is extremely, extremely valuable, okay? So that's literally people are paying $26 for one click. So if you could somehow rank for this keyword, you could do very well, okay? Even though the search volume isn't that great, the cost per click shows that that traffic is very valuable. Now on the other hand, you can see the difference between commercial intent and the different keywords. So we have WordPress hosting, which the competition is high, and we have free WordPress hosting, the competition is, very, is also high. 
Okay, so if you only looked at that metric, you'd think they're basically the same. But if you look at the cost per click, you can see that they're very different, right? This one is almost double um, free WordPress hosting. And that's because obviously someone searching for free, you know, they're not gonna be spending as much as someone who's just searching for WordPress hosting. Okay, so once you get this information, you have a few keywords, you do wanna actually enter them into Google and see the ads, all right? So head back to Google and put in WordPress hosting or whatever keyword you found. And what you wanna look for is how many ads. Now this is basically the competition score, but you do wanna look at it actually in Google too. And if you see a lot of ads above the fold, that's a good sign because this is a very expensive real estate. And then you also wanna see ads down the sidebar here. So if you see that, that has some commercial intent, especially if you complement the information with the information here. Now, I just wanna mention that if you do SEO for Bing, you wanna look specifically within Bing ads because sometimes, because the different dem demographics that use Google versus Bing, commercial intent can be very different between the search engines. So, you know, if you do SEO for Bing, just create a free Bing ads account, log in and click on the tools button, then click on research keywords, and then put in your target keyword. So in this case, we'll put in WordPress hosting and then click search. And as you can see, they don't have competition as a score, okay? But what they do have is the average cost per click. And it's always less than Google just because Bing is a, is a less competitive search engine. There's less people bidding on keywords, but it's all relatively the same. So this will give you a relative idea of the value of that particular search. So WordPress hosting, you know, is $6.27 versus you know, WordPress, which is very general, some informational, some commercial intent, which is uh, significantly less. Now, just like in Google, you do wanna look at the ads, okay? Just to double check that this keyword does have commercial intent. So we'll go to Bing, put in WordPress hosting, click search. And as you can see, there are no ads here, okay? Now, now I'm in Germany when I'm filming this, so that could be part of it, but you do wanna double check this. And if, if you're trying to target the region that you're in and there aren't any ads, that's a red flag, okay, within Bing. So um, like I said, sometimes the search engines can be very different. And because you don't get that competition information from Bing, you kind of have to go by the cost per click. So one way to verify that information is to actually search for the keyword. So that's all there is for determining commercial intent. As you can see, you should basically try to get as many you know, known commercial intent keywords as you can, like reviews and hosting, and then put them into the Google AdWords keyword tool and check out their competition and average cost per click. And if you do SEO and Bing, you should do the same thing over at Bing. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.